A number of similarities exist between the equations for the translational or the linear motion and for the rotational motion, especially for the motion under constant acceleration. And in this lecture video, we will focus on the motion at constant angular acceleration dahil nasa rotational motion na tayo. So as we have studied in the previous lecture videos, yung mga angular quantities natin is papalitan lang natin yung equation ng panibagong variable from the angular quantities. For the displacement, for the angular counterpart, lalagyan lang natin ng theta. For the velocity, omega. And for the acceleration, alpha as the angular acceleration. Binabago natin yung variables na yun. So the equations differ only in the names of the variables. And in the same way, every linear quantity we have already encountered so far has a corresponding counterpart in rotational motion. Yung derivations and procedures na ginamit natin to develop the kinematic equations, yung equations for linear motion under constant acceleration can also be used to derive a similar set of equations for the rotational motion under constant angular acceleration. The rotational equations for constant angular acceleration is just analogous to the translational mechanics with the same derivations as I have said. From the constant acceleration equations natin sa translational motion, ito yan. So we have five formulas na na-derived natin sa kinematics lecture videos natin. And for its counterpart sa rotational motion, so for rotational motion at constant angular acceleration, again, papalitan lang natin yung mga variables like V, X, and D acceleration. For the first equation na yan, pinalitan natin ng omega and alpha. Second equation, third equation, fourth equation, and the fifth equation. So, mapapansin natin that every term in a given linear equation has a corresponding term in the analogous rotational equation. Example number one, a disk initially rotating at 3.5 radians per second makes three complete turns before coming to a stop. Letter A, Calculate its angular acceleration and letter B. Calculate the time does it take to come to a stop. For letter A, given sa atin yung angular position, theta, in revolution. So we have, ang sabi dito, 3 complete turns. Yan ibig sabihin yan, tatlong revolution. Tatlong ikot. And i-convert natin sa radians dahil kapag gagamitin na natin yung equations, for angular quantities and the uh, rotational motion under the constant angular acceleration, dapat naka-radian yung position. So, we have to convert it. 3 revolutions times the factor na 1 revolution equals 2 pi radians. And cross out natin yung revolutions. Angular position is equal to 6 pi radians. And to calculate for the angular acceleration, gagamitin natin yung fifth equation for the rotational under constant angular acceleration. Final angular velocity square is equal to initial angular velocity square plus 2 times alpha times the angular position. So we have to derive, ito yung ating inahanap, angular acceleration is equal to Final angular velocity square minus initial angular velocity square over 2 times the angular position or the angular displacement. And by substituting, angular acceleration is equal to 0 yung final angular velocity natin. Kasi according to the problem, coming to a stop. So nag-stop na siya with an initial velocity of 3.5 radians per second. So this is 0 minus... 3.5 radians per second quantity square over 2 times angular position is equal to 6 pi radians. And by calculating, angular acceleration is equal to negative 0 0.3249 radians per second square. So this is for the angular acceleration sa Letter A. For letter B, calculate the time does it take to come to a stop. And yung gagamitin natin is yung first equation. 
final angular velocity is equal to initial angular velocity plus angular acceleration times time. Solving for the time, t is equal to final angular velocity minus initial angular velocity over the angular acceleration and substituting the values again 0 ito 0 minus 3.5 radians per second over yung na solve natin na angular acceleration negative 0 0.3249 radians per second square and by calculating the time is equal to 10.5 0.773 seconds. So the difference from the constant acceleration equation sa translational and sortational, sortational lagging in terms of radians. Pag binigyan tayo ng positions na ang unit ay degrees, kailangan lang natin i-convert ng radians. So this is example number 1. A wheel rotates with a constant angular acceleration of 3.73 radians per second square. Letter A. Calculate the angle does the wheel rotate between t equals 0 and t equals 3 seconds if the angular velocity of the wheel is 1.95 radians per second at t equals 0. Letter B. Calculate the angular velocity of the wheel at t equals 3 seconds and letter C. Calculate the angular displacement and revolution results while the angular velocity found in part B doubles. So for this problem, the angular acceleration is constant. So this problem just requires substituting given values dun sa equations natin kanina. Note that both the angular acceleration and initial angular velocity are positive, meaning the rotation or the rotational motion is strictly in the counterclockwise or the positive angular direction. For letter A, we have to find the angular displacement after 3 seconds. Ang gagamitin natin na equation is change in angular position equals the angular velocity times time plus 1 half times alpha times t square. And substituting the values, ang change in angular position is equal to we have given an angular velocity 1.95 radians per second times the time na 3 seconds plus 1 half times the angular acceleration na 3.73 radians per second square times t na 3 seconds quantity square and by calculating Angular displacement or the angular position is equal to 22.635 radians. Now, kung ang required sa atin is for is in terms of angle, isasubstitute lang natin ito. By factor, multiply natin, pi radian is equal to 180 degrees. Cancel. And ang angular position natin or ang angle for letter A is equal to 1,296.89 degrees. So, ilang revolutions ang meron dito sa angle na to. To calculate, we have 360 degrees equals 1 revolution. So, cancel yung degree. This is equal to 3.6 revolutions. So this is for letter A. And for letter B naman, we are asked to calculate the angular velocity of the wheel at 3 seconds. Ang gagamitin natin na equation is angular velocity final equals angular velocity initial plus the angular acceleration times the time. And we just have to substitute the value. Angular velocity is equal to we have given a 1.95 radians per second na angular velocity initial plus angular acceleration at 3.73 radians per second square times the, times the time na 3 seconds. By calculating, angular velocity is equal to 13.5 
radians per second. For letter C, calculate the angular displacement in revolution results while the angular velocity found in part B double. So, madudoble yung angular velocity na nakalculate natin sa letter B which is 13.14 radians per second. Ang gagamitin natin na equation is angular velocity square equals angular velocity initial square plus 2 times the angular acceleration times the change in angular displacement or the angular position. Solving for the change in angular position or the angular displacement, we have change in theta equals final angular velocity square minus initial angular velocity square over 2 times the angular acceleration. And by substituting the values, change in theta or change in the position is equal to Ang starting angular velocity na natin dito is itong nakuha natin sa letter B and then i-calculate natin kung gaano kalayo na angular position ang ma-reach niya kapag na doble ito. So this is the starting angular velocity and final angular velocity natin is yung double nito. So ang final angular velocity natin is 2 times 13.14 radians per second. Ito yan quantity square, minus, ito yung ating starting position, this is 13.14 radians per second, quantity square, over 2 times the angular acceleration na 3.73 radians per second square. By calculating, change in angular position or the change in angular displacement is equal to 69.4 43 radians. Convert natin sa revolutions. This is equal to 1 revolution over 2 pi radians cancel and this is equal to 11.05 revolutions. Ganito kadaming ikot yung magagawa from the angular velocity na 13.14 hanggang dun sa madoble yung angular velocity na yun. So, this is example number 2. Example number 3. In 9 cm diameter, this rotates from rest up to an angular velocity of negative 35 radians per second in a time of 0 0.95 seconds. Letter A. Calculate the angular acceleration of the disc assuming the motion is constant. Letter B. Calculate the angle does the disc turn while coming up to speed. Letter C. Calculate the tangential velocity of a point on the rim of the disc when the time is 0 0.95 seconds. Letter D. Calculate the magnitude of the tangential acceleration of the point at the given time. For letter A and letter B, we can solve them by applying the kinematic equations for angular velocity and angular displacement. And simply, sa letter C naman, letter D, to calculate the tangential velocity, yan lang yung kanilang linear velocity and linear acceleration na makakalculate natin gamit yung relationship ng translational and rotational, yung mumultiply natin ng radius. For letter A, we are asked to find the angular acceleration of the disk. So, ang gagamitin natin na equation is yung final angular velocity equals initial angular velocity plus the Angular acceleration times the time. Again, according to the problem, nag-start mag-rotate yung disk from rest. So, this is 0. Magkakalculate natin yung angular acceleration by dividing the angular velocity final sa time. Substituting the values, angular velocity natin is negative 35 radians per second. Ang time is 0 0.95 seconds. Angular acceleration is equal to negative 36.84 radians per second squared. This is the angular acceleration. For letter B, through what angle does the disk turn while coming up to speed? Ang gagamitin natin na kinematic equation is angular position is equal to initial angular velocity times time plus 1 half 
times the angular acceleration times t squared. Take note na, 0 yung initial angular velocity natin. So, this is 0 na agad. Substituting the values, 1 half times the angular acceleration na na-solve natin for, from letter A, negative 36.84 radians per second square times time na 0 0.95 seconds quantity square. By calculating angular displacement natin or the angular position is equal to negative 16.62 radians. For letter C naman, we need to calculate the tangential velocity of a point on the rim of the disk when the time is 0 0.95 degrees. So again, yung tangential velocity na yan, for example, this is the disk, ito yung point, yung linear velocity niya, yan. Ang nagagamitin natin is yung relationship. The velocity, linear, or the tangential is equal to radius times the angular velocity. And again, ang angular, ang radius natin is equal to kalahati ng diameter, 9 divided by 2, we have 4.5 centimeters or 0 0.045 meters times the angular velocity na negative 35 radians per second. By calculating, ang tangential velocity is equal to negative 1.575 meters per second for the tangential acceleration ganun lang din ang gagawin natin tangential, tangential acceleration is equal to radius times the angular acceleration substituting the values same radius 0 0.045 meters times the angular acceleration na nasolve natin negative 36.84 radians per second square Tangential acceleration is equal to negative 1.658 meters per second square. Nabalikan natin yung letter B. Kung gusto natin i-convert into revolutions, we just have to use again the factor na 1 revolutions is equal to 2 pi radians. And since negative siya, dapat nasa clockwise direction. So this is example number 3.